Today I want to take a look at making a Power Apps form that uploads a picture to SharePoint. This is something we covered in SharePoint Saturday and want to give credit to, to Mark Boyd at MTech for that, that presentation and the ideas. We covered a lot during the session but weren't able to finish 100% and I wanted to work on it a little bit afterwards. So these are the things that I found out. In the SharePoint Saturday session we created a new list with title, latitude, longitude, altitude, notes. And then we also created a picture library called Inspection Pictures. The premise here is that we have an electrical company that needs to inspect the power lines and someone in the field would go out, walk through, and actually take their phone with them, find different things, take a picture of any repairs needed or issues, take a picture with notes, and upload it, and also have GPS coordinates. During that, we relied on SharePoint for the data storage here as an inspection item, but then Power Apps to make the mobile UI and Flow for doing the file upload. So let's go ahead and open up Power Apps. And we have a prototype in here for the Power Pole inspection. And on this form, we are connected back to the main SharePoint list. So over here, I'm just going to put Hello World and I uh, will put in some coordinates and just go ahead and save. That way we have a list item. And in the Power Apps Studio, we see our inspections here. If we do a refresh, we now see a Hello World item. There's the display form. We can edit or delete. When we go into edit, we get a slightly different experience. It shows some upload buttons and then a panel for the camera. So this is the picture taking functionality of it all. We'll go back to the main Power App screen and click the pencil icon to edit the application. And when this began, what we did was apps and then create an app in the top left. Yeah, so it was the one right here on the left, the create an app from SharePoint list with a phone layout. That's what we used for this particular project. And the first time you come in, there's training materials, videos to get started. This is the Power Apps Web Studio. On the left, you can see there's a browse, detail, and edit screen. These are our main renderings. So if we change that up, you can see the detail screen looks like this. The edit screen is a little different with the text fields. And this is the one where I added more controls for custom buttons and most importantly, a camera. So this is all out of the box system default except for edit screen. For that, I did insert, control, and oh, it was media camera. There we go. Insert media camera. That's how we got this element down here at the bottom. And then, of course, also those insert control button for a couple of button clicks. The camera I really didn't configure anything with. I left this all default, so everything you see on the right here is standard. The upload button, we did make some changes to. So this was to execute a Microsoft flow, providing a file name, and then the photo content, which of course sources from the camera control, the camera1.photo property. The Microsoft flow is given the data from the Power App. So you're on a Power App, you're doing a regular browse, regular details, you go to your edit screen, there is a camera control with an upload button, Clicking that button will take the binary out, and then we're going to send it on over to the picture library. But we need some way to upload that. That's where MS Flow comes in the center here as a way to receive the data, which is going to come across as a data URL. We need to change the format to binary, and then save the binary to the picture library. So there's a little, little transformation on data, and then uploading that occurs. Over here in Microsoft Flow, if we go to the My Flows, what we'll see is we have one for SharePoint Saturday upload picture that's enabled. It begins from a Power App. There is a Compose step. And then there's a Create File step. So real simple, three steps in the flow. And on the Compose step, this is kind of interesting, it converts the data URL to binary. So that's something that we, we had to configure, data URL to binary. And you can see the expression over here. It's using that particular function, data URL to binary, and it's bringing in the create file content input. So that's, that's kind of how that one is, uh, is set up. Yeah, and over here we can 
I'll take a look at commentary, no additional steps needed, okay. And create file is a SharePoint step. We have a couple different settings we can manage with it. We had to give it the address of the SharePoint site and then the folder path. So if we want to put it in inspection pictures, we need to get the folder path from up here in the address bar and make sure we include that over in the MS flow. The file name, we provide a variable from Power Apps, which is being received over here with uh, file content and file name, two of our inputs. And then output is uh, not really used in this case, but that is, oh, I'm sorry. The file content is the output from the prior compose step. So for that one, we had to do a see more on the compose step here. You can do see more and see less. That will show you the output, which is coming from this prior function and feeds down. So that's the Microsoft flow that can take a file name and data URL and then convert it to binary for uploading. Now, to test all of this, one of the things I wanted to do was get a data URL example. So here's a cat picture on localhost 3000. Here's an index HTML with the source. Found this on the web as an example of a data URL. So this is essentially image source equals, and then this enormous data URL becomes the, the file's content. Now in Flow, one of the things we can do is test over here in the top right corner. And I think that's a great idea on something like this. So if we say, I'll perform the trigger action, we go ahead and open up the test UI. The file name can be cat.jpg. We paste in this giant data URL and tell it run Flow. So this way we're doing a little bit of unit testing that, you know, we have this Microsoft Flow defined. Here's one from three seconds ago that succeeded. If we go look at our library, we see a new image, cat.jpg, and click on it and we can view the cat. So we do have the ability to upload, and that's awesome stuff that that's you know, working seamlessly the way we need, that the conversion of this kind of data URL into binary and uploading it to the site is all running successfully. And when you click a line item in Flow, it actually shows you every step and if it executed successfully or not. It even shows you the values from that instance. So Microsoft Flow has a lot of great debug and line item detail here that we can use. You even can do a resubmit action. So if we were to delete the file and then resubmit, the image would surface uh, again. Back over in Power Apps Designer, let's go take a look at this one and we'll do edit. So here we have the form opened in edit mode. And here's our upload picture Microsoft Flow with a run action. I'm giving it a hard-coded name of powerapp.jpg and then whatever camera1.photo has. So just to show you how that was composed, if we take out the expression, it came from action flow. So the toolbar has action and flow. That's what we want to attach to the button. This is where it comes up and there's a flow that's already defined that I've been working with, the SharePoint Saturday upload picture. Originally, what I did was create new flow. That's what gave me the canvas here to go ahead and get things started. So just so you guys know, there, there was a little bit of prep work in you know, creating this flow the first time where it receives those, those two inputs. But now that we have it defined, our button is all set up. We have upload camera. Cool. And can't really test it as well on the laptop, but I want to show you the phone anyway. So over here is the phone screen with Power Apps running. I have one Power App on this particular tenant. It comes up with a little message. You can search for items. So this is like the same thing that we see on our browse screen, kind of following along. When we open that one line item, we get the details screen. When we go to edit, we get the third edit screen. And here you can see the camera with the upload buttons. I'll take that and I guess point it uh, like a picture of laptop. This works is you actually have to touch the icon to mark it in red and then do the upload. There's two steps. If you don't touch the picture and you tap on upload, it'll send it but with no data. 
So over here, if I refresh my Microsoft Flow, I'll see that we have some which succeeded. And over here, our document library has a new Power App JPEG file. That was coming from the cell phone. And there's a picture of the laptop doing this particular recording. So that's really cool stuff. All of this is being done with no code, 100% in Office 365. We make a form. We set up Flow for doing the data conversion and the upload. And Microsoft Flow really becomes our event handler. That When you click a button, we're not doing code. You click a button and you go run this MS Flow. And what he's going to do is bring in two parameters, do the data conversion, and then upload the file. And those are the essential activities we need for when you press that camera button to go ahead and get the image captured and save it into a SharePoint site so that we end up with this, with our, our data saved. So that concludes the demo. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, it's great to see Power Apps actually working. Some really cool stuff.